Okay, let's get in here. Big strong man. <laughs> oh yeah, he's like, I got it, Dad. <laughs> at home is the Kylan, so we're going to go on a little field trip today and do some drive shaft stuff, drive one, after he finishes his pancakes and watches whatever he's watching. Oh yeah. Okay, breakfast is done. We're back home and we're going to take the race car, he calls it, uh, back to the shop, lake house, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, See if I'm going. There we go. Uh, hit this drive shaft. The Carolina Carolina Drive Line was the only place I could find around here that would do it. And what they're going to do is change out that U joint to fit. So I have to go measure the opening and uh, bring the drive shaft to them so they can switch out the uh, U joint. So I was just going to buy a whole new rear end, but I don't want to go that much into it. I don't want to spend two grand on a posi unit um, i'll probably just change out the gears and pinion to 373s because right now i think it's 240 something so we'll see once we drive it <laughs> but uh the higher the gear gear the, the least resistance like you're like if you just drive 10 speed in the hot, biggest gear easier to ride so 373 bigger bigger gear you can go like a 411 um so it's a little easier to hit the throttle and the tire spin that's what that's what it means that bigger the number easier to spin the tires but you get less uh top end top speed so i don't know why in 1980 1978 they were trying to go 200 miles an hour <laughs> for whatever reason but the gears are real low so uh we would end up blowing up that train that rear end probably pretty quickly we'll just drive it for now and then get the exhaust on it and get it to a driveline shop and let them or a uh, rear end shop and change the gears out for us something i don't do i don't mess with the gears there's the shimming and there's making it right Aligned just perfect with the pinion and the gear. So you mess it up a little bit, you're gonna get a bunch of howl and premature wear. So not doing that. But right now we are gonna go get to the shop, pick up that drive shaft, and then it's all the way back in Spartanburg. So we'll drop it off if we have some time today um, and get that done. A little bit of driving, but good end result. Thank you for all the comments on the uh, soybeans, by the way. There's a little bit over there on the right. Uh, I didn't know that. Pretty cool. Didn't know that. And then someone was saying after this, I'll cycle it and do corn next. So thank you for those comments. We are almost to the shop. And uh, get this drive shaft out. And I've been talking to the guy. He gave me his personal number. I texted him a video. He said, Yeah, no problem. I wanted to switch that out for you. And uh, get some new caps to, to brace it in. I said, All right, man, cool. Just a little bit of leg work coming all the way back here to get it. Should have just took it with me yesterday, but I really didn't know what I was doing. If I was taking it out or get a new rear end or what. But a new rear end is just a lot of needed work. There's not really a direct replacement that has leaf springs. So I don't want to do all that, switch it out, that, that much work to it. So we'll just get it running right now with the, with the airplane gears, they call them, the 240s. And then switch out the gears to the 373s. Once we get everything hooked up and the car idling and keeping temperature and ready to go, it'd be a lot more fun to do some burnouts with the 373s and the uh, 241s or the 243s, whatever they are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get your seatbelt? You're so strong. You got your seatbelt off? Good boy. All right. We're going to also measure the opening for the bigger ones on this thing. First, we got to get this garage open. Okay. You coming, boy? What's up, dude? Hey. Boom. All right. Seems like we've been here every day this week. Maybe because we have. Yeah, it's getting wet. Put it right there. My shoes? Yeah. Okay, I'll put my shoes right here for you. We still have to paint these walls. We put these walls in because this room was wide open when we first moved here. We also built a little bathroom. <laughs> you got your shoes off? Okay, let's open the garage. Good. Oh, man. <sighs> I 
You ready? I think we kind of got to put them right back on because we, all we did was get the garage. Thank you for lining them up. Good job. Go. Well, let's go. Hi, race, race car. Got some leaves, huh? What is? Right Over there? Yeah. Okay. Good job. You did open it. Uh, we're not going to start that one right now. I'm going to get the drive shaft out of this one. Do you want to play your game or do you want to come over here? Okay, get in the get in the race car. Get the get your game. And right, I'm going to grab the drive shaft. Where's that noise? Um, it's unlocked. Pull hard. Hard. Uh, two hands. Yeah. Let me help him. Okay. You play your games. I'll get the drive shaft out. All right, so what we're doing today, guys, if you've been following the build or if you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Um, our drive shaft doesn't line up. It doesn't fit, so we got to pull it back out. I have to measure the yoke right there. It uh, is too big. The openings right there, those are too big for those, so we have to get that switched out. And we're going to go take it to a driveline shop and do that. <laughs> okay, let's slide under here. Measure these out. Now they are about a inch and an eighth opening. Yep. Alrighty, so we'll pull that out. It's leaking a little bit too when it's had an angle up like this, but I guess it just needs to be changed out. So we'll definitely get the rear end rebuilt with some uh, taller gears. But first, let's get this drive shaft over to the shop. You want to help me carry it? Yeah. Okay, let's get the drive shaft in the back of the race car. Oh, get the front. Yeah. Hold it. Right there. Oh, there you go. Good job. That's too heavy up there. Yeah, a little heavy. Yeah. Thanks for helping. It's not heavy. Not too heavy. Oh, you're so strong? Yeah. Okay. Let's get in the car. Uh, uh, right here. Yeah, right here. Good job. <sighs> Working hard. Okay, I'll get it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Well, while we're here, we might as well put our intake on. Whoa. Let's put our intake on, okay? Let's pop it. You gonna pop it? Yeah. All right, let's get these out of the box and get them on. Here. Okay. So, we have a little problem here. Seems like a vermin uh, got a hold of our filter and ate it. Oh, yeah. Ate it all around. <laughs> Leave that open, baby. So, uh, <laughs> we're going to have to buy another filter. Because like, they ate it around and released the, the comb. So, yikes. Thanks a lot, whatever animal got in there. But um, it will be a nice intake. It has a place for a mass airflow sensor too. So, but there's no connector on the Holly EFI for mass airflow. So I don't think it utilizes it, but we still gotta get a filter on there. So we'll measure this out and order another filter. <laughs> because, yeah. Oh yeah, cool, cool. Probably get more of a straight cone filter because how big that filter was, that yeah. uh, still would have fit. Just a little close to the um, alternator. All right, well, RIP filter. I don't know who, uh, which vermin got a hold of you. Well, he definitely had some, some bites taken out of you. Yikes. It has like another uh, block off box for uh, keeping the cold air to it or as much cold air as it can, but it won't work with our t anything here. So we're going to have to not use that, just have a cone filter coming off the front, which is fine. Well, he wanted me to turn the fan on. <laughs> so it's a three and three quarter inch opening. So we will get that going and then we'll be able to have a little cone filter. So I get a nice can in or something aftermarket. But all right, we're coming together. Now let's uh, get that drive shaft over to the drive line company. You ready to go, Bubba? Yeah. All right, we'll turn that off. All right, thank you. Let's go to the drivetrain shop. <laughs> you got it. Bring the measuring tape. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Let's okay. Let's See you in a little bit. Yeah, yeah show me. Ooh, interesting. Let's lock up the house. <laughs> Come on. 
All right, well, drive train, drive shafts in the trunk. Let's get going. That is a nice Fox body. It's old saline. That's awesome. Looks like they just got it. Maybe they're moving it, restoring it. Beginning of saline. Uh, out there in, I believe, Riverside, California. It's kind of where I grew up. It's where saline Mustangs began. I actually had a Cobra, a 99 Cobra that had a saline conversion. So they sent it to saline and had the whole kit put on. It was a Roadster, so it had the fiberglass cover over the... Um, back rear seats when the top was down and it had the light bar across the top a little over the back convertible a nice car full sailing body kit sailing wheels but it was a cobra so it had the uh, modular motor the uh, four valve per cylinder cobra engine so fun car i love that car and it was black and it had a custom uh, macintosh stereo system <laughs> It was crazy, so nice car, really nice car. Enjoyed that thing. Sold it to some guy, and he flew in. Nice, nice merging. Wonderful merging once again. Sorry, baby, people don't know how to merge. Oh man, so um, yeah. Oh, well, there's a little electric BMW sitting on a little hot shot by itself. There you go. But yeah, Stanley Mustangs, pretty cool things. Uh, I don't think they're that prevalent anymore. I don't even know if they make them anymore. I believe the Roushes are out too. I've never, I haven't seen any new ones. The Shelby's still out there, even with Carol being passed now. Um, my Shelby was signed by Carol, it was awesome. My little hit in history memories. Uh, I had a 2007, my first car I really bought for myself when I did good, when I started getting better at uh, my trucking income and my YouTube income. I bought it before YouTube even made me money, so it was a great personal purchase uh, for Christmas. I think it was 2019, and uh, it, was, it was nice. It was white with red seats. We traded that one, sold it, and got this one because we had the boys getting bigger, so that's why we have the four-door race car now, and I love this car. I, <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised when I drove my uh, neighbor's 392. He's a finance manager for, for Dodge. He's always bringing different Dodge and uh, Chrysler products home brought home the uh, 392 Scat Pack and I drove that and I'm just a steering that I don't really like the dash layout it's nice but it's it could be a lot more refined but the raw horsepower of that motor plus the steering and the way I did come did uh, road and the seats I was like oh this is a nice car and so I uh, I went and grabbed the Hellcat and I'm very happy that they, they are a great product <laughs> for sure fun car to drive and my sons love it so. anyways that was cool seeing a saline brought me back memories let's get to the driveline shop okay looking for carolina driveline on the left there we go that's it lots of rail and scrapyard over here to the right uh, let's see what we got here we got the sprinter van coming out all right where is the customer entrance a little bit of gravel, trying to stay out of that mud bit over there. There you go. I see a little mud. You see mud? No, you didn't see mud. Okay. No, you didn't see it. Oh, it looks like we're kind of full on parking, so they will park over here. It's a nice old Ford a couple of them. This pole over here? Okay. Let's park right here. Thank you for your business. All right. Help me get it out. You wanna go that way? Yeah. Well, we gotta play. We gotta do some business right here. You take your seatbelt off. Uh, uh. Oh, you got it. Okay, you get it. All right, let's go. Let's see if they can do it right now, because it's about a twenty-minute drive from the house. But um, if not, we can leave it and we'll come back for it. Oh yeah, they're scrapping stuff. Okay, let's get in here. Big strong man. Oh yeah, he's like, I got it, Dad. <laughs> All right, man. You get your lollipop. Yeah, okay, I'll get the trap. Oh, you got one for me too. Wow, yeah. this place is special. Open it. Oh, open it, please. Yeah. Did you say thank you? Thank you. All right. Okay, I'll open it. Can I get the orange one? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Do you see the race car over there? Yes. Let's go check it out. Okay. And they're gonna get us taken care of while we're here, which is awesome. So we don't gotta drive back. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Okay. 
with any of your driveline needs, guys, out here in the south, come out to Carolina Driveline, Spartanburg. They, were, they are definitely accommodating, and they have everything we need. Dude, that's pretty good, Joe. You're done with your sucker. Did you get a free uh, ducky? Yeah. What's his name? Quacker. <laughs> and also, what was your name, man? Chris. Chris. Check out Chris and right behind him, that old Ford outside. Check out Adventures with Edna on YouTube. He's uh, going through all the progress of that. He's got a little bit of transmission stuff he's doing through right now, going through. But a lot of car events and car shows. I hope to see you out there, man. Yeah. They're pretty cool. Check him out, guys. Yeah, thanks a lot. You're welcome. And thanks for Quacky. Huh. Mmm. And look what we got, guys. We have new retainers that will actually fit our rear end. Beautiful. Here, have a sticker. There we go. Perfect. I'll put it, we uh, have like our refrigerator at the shop. We load it with stickers. Oh, cool. So they'll be on the sticker wall. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Awesome people out here, guys. Can't say enough. That was very quick. About 10 minutes. Can you hold your duck? There you go. And the papers. Want to hold these little clips right here? There you go. And I'll grab this. How's that? Guys, thank you so much. Yeah, I'll look up Ed now on, on YouTube, man. Yeah, Old one. Let me grab it right. Healthy, oh, you good? Thanks, brother. <laughs> Take care, guys. Thank you so much. All right. We got it, guys. You hear it? Come on. Watch your step. There's plenty of rocks and stuff. All right, man. Oh, there it is. All taped off. Beautiful. 10 minutes, guys. Beautiful. Awesome people. I'm going to go check out the truck. Yeah, guys, Adventures with Edna. And the story behind it, guys, his grandmother's name was Edna. And as she passed, she left money to every one of her grandchildren. And uh, he, you want to see the back? Be careful. He left his, uh, he took his money to go ahead and get a old Ford. Isn't that cool, Kai? Wow. Okay, let's not leave the, let's not leave that on the car. <laughs> Pretty cool. So, yeah, check out Adventures with Edna, guys. Give him a, give him a like, give him a sub. Okay, we have it picked up. Super nice people. I was hoping they didn't need to leave me to leave it there, but they gave Kyle a popsicle uh, or a lollipop, a rubber duck, everything. So I love it. Over here in Spartanburg, a little bit of a drive, but I'm glad they can get it done that quickly, you know? Okay, back on 85, back towards the house. I think we're gonna close the video out with a fun day since mom and dad are leaving tomorrow. Uh, Your medicine. They put it in the house? Yeah. Stop at CVS. He's got an ear infection, so we had to get him some medicine. We got it. All right, Bubba, let's get home. Hey. <laughs> well, that'll wrap it up for today, guys. Got him his medicine, got the drive shaft switched out. I measured those little uh, connections, and it's going to be an inch and a quarter. I do see the duckies on the Jeep. You got a ducky at the driveline shop. Watch your cars, watch your cars. And we're gonna hit the Dave and Buster's and wait for the other three BB boys to show up and have a little fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> Give me a hug, dude. How was school today? Hi. Oh, you sleeping? Yeah. Oh, you were sleeping. Well, the other three BB boys are here. Hey, look at these guys over here, Cash. Come on. <laughs> what do you think they're eating? I don't know. You have a good day at school? All right. Well, God bless you guys. Thanks for tuning in today. Make sure you check out the Edna channel. Three BB mom is checking out the Skeletors. I like your new sweater. That's awesome. And Uncle Kyle even made it. Woo! All right, guys. God bless you. We'll see you on the next one.